We have had some great weather whiz kid questions here on Fox 9 all this week. There has been. I couldn't answer them. No, no that's why we bring in Scott, because <laughs> this is not our mm, arena. No. Well, you sure you don't want to try it? You're, you're, no, that's okay. You, well, that's we'll give it a shot if you'd like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, see if, you, if this is what you think the answer will be after we get the question okay. and the answer right. This is a tough question here. This is one, it's one of the age-old questions. There's actually two questions that are kind of working together. Here they are. Hi, my name is Josie. I'm from Monroe Elementary, and my weather question is, if heat rises, why do higher altitudes have lower temperatures? Hi, my name is Tyler Kramer. I go to school at Monroe Elementary. My weather question is, why does Boise get less snow than places like McCall? All right, I put those two together because McCall's at a higher elevation, so colder and snowier. The Treasure Valley is milder and uh, a little drier than that. So why does all this work? So here's the key. Because warm air, we know warm air rises. Well, if warm air rises, then why is it colder up here? And it's because as the air is rising, it is cooling because of the way the atmosphere is set up. The air, gravity holds the air to the ground just like it holds us to the ground. If we jump up, we come right back down. I'm not going to demonstrate for you right now. And it takes the air and it, it causes the air to have weight, 14.7 pounds per square inch of weight being forced on your hand if that column of square, that square inch of air went all the way to the top of the atmosphere up a good 10 miles. And that weight, again, is being compressed. So there's higher air pressure near the ground. There's no air when you get into space. And when pressure drops as we go up, the temperature drops. They work together. If the pr temperature, the pressure rises, the temperature rises. So it shows up here, kind of see on the edge of your screen here, we have temperature in dew point, temperature 92 at 3,000 feet, 76, and the temperature at 6,000 uh, 6, feet is only 60 here. And of course, we're showing you the dew point because as that air rises, it is cooling, and that's when the clouds will form when the temperature meets the dew point, by the way. But that's why. The air is warm and it's rising, but it is cooling as it's rising. It's what we call the adiabatic lapse rate. Don was already telling me to to mention the adiab adiabatic lapse rate, so we did. That's the dry adiabatic lapse rate. That's the rate at which the air typically will drop, generally three to five degrees per thousand feet as it goes up. And so that's why we have cooler temperatures in those higher elevations. But you know, in the atmosphere, we've got lots of layers. All of the weather is in the lower layer of the atmosphere, the troposphere, where the temperature in the troposphere, as you mentioned, it's, if, if you've got a widescreen TV, you can see it is falling with height. See the temperature's dropping here. But the next layer of the atmosphere, the actual temperature goes up through the stratosphere, and then drops again in the next layer, which is the mesosphere. And so because the temperature rises, there's a natural inversion here. So if you see the top of a thunderstorm, you see them drawn out like this, the clouds rise, they hit the top of the troposphere, and they can't go any higher, so they fan out. And that's why you see this anvil top on the top of a thunderstorm. And so that is why the air is cooling as it's rising in the troposphere. We just wanted to let you know what, what else is happening up here. And the reason, of course, is more snow in McCall. It's the higher elevation, so it's colder. More precipitation falls in the form of snow than it does as rain. Donna Michelle, is that what you were thinking? Don, I'm going to give you a spelling test. I, I, okay. Troposphere. Adiabatic. I was just checking out your spy plane behind you. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> there it is, right yeah. there. You know, with all the talk about North Korea. Hey, you know, maybe that's where it's headed. I don't know. Oh, yeah. goodness. Thank right. you, Scotty. <laughs> Coming up next on Fox 9.